Hey guys, it's Bailey. Welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for tuning in to what is going to be a really a quickie video about highlight. In my most recent favorites video, I talked about a highlighting palette that I recently found and am in love with. It's the Makeup Addiction Cosmetics Holy Glow Volume 2. And as I was talking about this in my favorites video, I mentioned that when I purchased this at the makeup show, the makeup artist at the booth applied some of these highlighters to me as we were talking about it so I could actually see them in action. And the way, I mean, I was wowed by the powders, obviously. I, I bought the highlight palette, but the way he applied it to me was so different than any way that I ever would have or thought to apply highlight to my face. And when I mentioned that in the favorites video, you guys were like, can can we see that please? Like, duh, I should have done a demo in that video. So here we are, just gonna be a quickie little, you know, basically a before and after. I wanted to show you how I was applying a highlight before, and then, you know, just the very subtle, but to me, very noticeable difference in the placement now where I prefer to apply it. So I am using, again, this palette, the Holy Glow Volume 2 from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics, and then the brush that I'm using to apply here is from Smashbox. It's the Precise highlighting brush. So first I want to show you how I used to apply my highlight. The shade I'm using first in both of these examples is uh, Champagne Fizz from this palette. And the way I used to apply it was truly just at the top of my cheekbone in like one solid line down the side of my face literally mirroring the contour and blush pattern. You know, the typical three formation you do for the contour, it would be a parallel line, literally just a couple of centimeters above that contour line, and it would mirror it right there, and then I would be done. It lifts the cheekbone, but it can sometimes come off as a little harsh and narrow, especially if you have a particularly blinding highlighter that looks severe against a more matte skin. It can look a little too severe from some angles, and then you'll see when I turn my face forward to face the camera, it's almost like not even visible from the front. But then you contrast that with the technique of the other makeup artist, which I wish I had his name, I don't, but he was working at the uh, Nuestro Secreto booth at the makeup show. So in the event you ever see this, you have rocked my highlight world. But when he applied it, he went right up next to my outer corner. I never would have thought to do that because, as I mentioned in that favorites video, it would emphasize any texture, any fine lines, and, you know, they're not very pronounced, but I certainly have them. I laugh, you know, my skin goes through dry spells, like, there's some texture there, and highlight will only emphasize it. But no, and it might be due to the finely milled texture of these highlights, but when you get right up to it, it doesn't emphasize anything, but it helps soften the look of that highlight and helps it blend more seamlessly in with the rest of the makeup on your face. And as you face towards like to someone or here to camera, it's totally visible from the front and it makes your cheekbones look so much higher. I hope you can see that on one side versus the other when I did it. Personally, I was like blown away between the difference. Then to give that an even more dimensional look. He went in and used a different color of highlight in this palette. This that I'm going in to apply is Pink Flamingo, and he applied that, again, just directly to that space under my eye, which then when you turn, it has that multifaceted color shift. It, like, pulls something from the eye look you're wearing. It doesn't look unnatural. It just, like, pulls a really complementary color out of your look. So that's another little tip that I have been really loving and using a lot with this palette as well. So that's really it for me, guys. I hope this was helpful. If you did have questions about that highlight technique that I mentioned, I hope you could see the difference and it wasn't just like all in my head, but at the end of the day, so much of makeup is just about what makes, you, you know, how you like to look, the aesthetic you prefer, what makes you feel comfortable. So a lot of you guys have complimented that you had seen a difference, so this is just me sharing what I'm doing differently. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.